Welcome to Torch Talk, the HS News for the students, by the students. Coming up next. EYP Farming. Torch Ceremony. Meet the teacher. I'm Melissa. And I'm Alison. And this is Torch Talk. It's really nice to have some warmer weather. Tis the season for planting and our EYP students are hard at work on their garden. We visited them to see what they are doing in their unit on farming. In EYP we've been learning about field and farming Bermuda. Quack, quack. Oh, I saw the pumpkin. Wow. Taking up some Vegetables for dinner. Let's see something. Let's see something. I see a lemon. I got a giant broccoli. Oh, I need to bottle. ceremony happens in silence. Everyone lines up around the circle, the youngest students to the oldest. Teachers and staff and many past students visit and watch from the sidelines. Everyone touches the handle of the torch.
Did you know that when it started in 1937, the original torch used to be a tin can nailed on the end of a broomstick with a rag soaked in kerosene? In time, they lengthened the handle as it was a bit of a fire hazard. The poem, The Torchbearers, read by Alfred Noyes, is read by the head of the school. Looking back, I see those others with their arms outstretched, pointing to the future. We then sing the school song. Alumni stay for lunch afterwards, which is a chance to meet up with old friends and stay in touch. It brings everyone together. You feel that you're part of something big, unified, and committed to sharing. It makes me feel proud. Oh my gosh, can you imagine carrying the original torch? A burning rag in a tin can? No way. And I've heard that there used to be a different version of the school song. Our next guest will be able to tell us more about that. Let's pass it over to Kira for our Make the Teacher segment. We are excited to have Ms. Ross joining us in the studio today. Could you tell us what your role at BHS is and how long have you been here? Well, yeah, I could. My current role is the University Admissions Counselor. And I've been doing that role for the last, this is my second year. Prior to that, I joined BHS in 1986 and I was then the secondary music teacher. And then I became the head of the arts department and then in 2000 we launched the IB program at BHS, it was the first school on the island and I was the head of the IB program and the IB coordinator and I did that until 2018 and then I took a four year, what I call a four year sabbatical. So I went to another school on the island and helped them set up an IB program. And then I was missing BHS, so it was lovely that uh, Mrs. Parker said, I have just the job for you, and it was a wonderful job, and I love it. So all together, I've done 34 years at Bermuda High School. Wow. And it's very hard to imagine, because, you know, I'm obviously not old enough to have done that, so I started when I was five. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told us you were involved in writing the school song. Is that true? I was involved in 1994, we had the 100 years of BHS. Now, for the 50th anniversary, which was 1944, they actually produced a school song, and that was words were written by a woman that was the English teacher, I believe, called Dorothy Hartley. And the music teacher at the time, Gladys Tatum, wrote the music. And it was very of its time, and it was quite Edwardian, beautiful, but quite difficult for new people coming in to learn. So they asked if I would reset those words. So the words that you hear are still the 1944 words written by Mrs. Hartley, and I reset the music. My uh, uh, charge was to, to make it something that everybody could sing, that was memorable. And it caused quite a lot of, a lot of conversations at the very first uh, Old Girls' Day. Um, at the luncheon, they were very, very upset. So it's now been 30 years, so most of those people have either departed the, their mortal coil or they've got used to it. We know you're a musician. How many instruments do you play? Oh, wow, well, I am a musician. Yes, I play, my first instrument is the violin. So I came to Bermuda originally to teach violin for the Menu Foundation. So I play violin, I play viola, I play piano. I play a bit of guitar, I play the organ, sort of. I hate the recorder, I can play it, but I don't really like it. Sets my teeth on edge, so. <laughs> um, someone told us your dad made you a violin. I have violin number one, made by my dad, who actually worked um, as a nuclear scientist, that was his job, and he was also a very, very good woodworker, and he played viola, violin and viola as well. So hence we were encouraged to play. Uh, oh, you made violins, violas, and cellos. In fact, my daughter, you made my daughter a cello. My son plays the trumpet, and he was very disappointed that Grandad couldn't make him a trumpet because trumpets are not made of wood. 
They're made of brass. Yeah. So there we go. What is one interesting fact about you? One interesting fact about me is that I cooked dinner for David Bowie. How about that? There's an interesting fact. And wow. you know who David Bowie is? <laughs> you may no. not. He was a very, very, very famous rock musician. Very famous. And he and his wife, Iman, who's a model, lived in Bermuda, in Somerset, which is where I live. And uh, my friend, Christine Watlington, who also used to teach here, uh, used to do their garden. And uh, she was away, so I was watering the garden. And then I got a call from some lady in New York saying that they were flying in and that, uh, I said, that's lovely, fine. And then they said, uh, oh, um, Christine usually gives dinner. I went, oh, I thought I was just watering the garden. So I was busy, busy, and I rushed in from this wedding and then I had to put this dinner together, but it was quite funny. I, I cooked swordfish and a salad with a Mexican salad with raspberry vinaigrette. There we go. And a bouillie bath sauce. How about that? <laughs> for David Bowie. <laughs> you seem like a very busy person. What kind of things do you do outside BHS? Well, I am, I am busy, yeah. Um, a lot of it's music oriented. So I play with the Bermuda Philharmonic. I used to conduct the Philharmonic many, many years ago. I've done a couple of things with them. And I conduct the Dalesford Singers. And also I used to conduct the Bermuda Chamber Choir. I love conducting. I really enjoy that. So that, that's a lot of it is music. I have a dog and three cats that live with me and then I have Paul the outside cat who comes as well. So my dog's Charlie, so we have lots of animals that keep me busy. And I like to do jigsaw puzzles and cryptic crosswords and Sudoku because I like to keep my brain busy. Do you have any words of advice for our students? Oh, I'm always giving advice. Um, yeah, make the most of your opportunities. You've got this wonderful, wonderful facility here and great teachers who've got lots of interesting things to do, so make the most of it. If you get an opportunity to do something that you think, oh, I'm not sure, have a go. Have a go, because that's, that's the way that you, you grow as a person. And also, it's like trying new food. You know, you think, oh, I don't like the look of it, but try it, because you, you might just like it. So make the most of your opportunities and be kind to people. That's my advice. Thank you for speaking with us today. You are a real inspiration. Oh, well, thank you very much. It's been my absolute pleasure and a delight. Mrs. Ross is so entertaining. And I hear that she's an excellent guidance counsellor. Let's go to our roaming reporter. I'm Izzy, reporting for Torch Talk. Roaming reporters ask the VHS community, what app do you use the most? What is your most used app? I would say either TikTok or YouTube. Um, maybe like Google or Pinterest. Most used app is it's called Home and Design. Home Design, where you play sort of like it's like crush candy, but then you get you get money to then buy sofas and recreate a new living room or something like that. And I also spend a lot of time with um, Solitaire. TikTok, Snapchat. Oh, uh, my most used app is WhatsApp. Roblox. YouTube. Genshin Impact. Pinterest. Well, that was interesting. My most used app is Messages. Back to you, Alyssa and Madison. And that's it for this broadcast. What do you want to see on Torch Talk? Email us at torchtalk at bhs.pm. Don't forget to watch the bloopers at the end. Torch Talk, news for the students, by the students. What's your most used app? That could be a part of bloopers, it's okay. We know you're a music. Sorry. This is a tradition, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay, cut. But I have to get all the money back, okay? Hello. And welcome to Bloopers. 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 Bloop
Why are you guys laughing? I'm not laughing. Is Ross doing it? Join, join, join. Mrs. Russell. <laughs> Sorry, I got the chair. Our EYP students are hard, are, are hard at work. Retake. <laughs> this is a tradition. No, 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 start from the beginning. Uh, Your favorite app. Be a tourist talk.